We're back. In a previous video, I showed you how to plug a Raspberry Pi into an Arduino and get some data off the Arduino and visualize that. And we're going to take that a step further today. Right after I uploaded that video, I thought it'd be pretty interesting if we did two-way communication. In the last video, we were taking the data from the Arduino and sending it to the Raspberry Pi. And I thought it'd be pretty interesting if we went the other way. I've done the serial read thing where you're sending information to the Arduino. I've done that a lot of different ways, but in researching this video, I came across a really good example sketch that I'm going to I'm going to leave up here. And I've taken that example sketch pretty much verbatim and then added a few things to make an LED work with it. But we're not going to go over all the details of it, but basically I took the Ar the uh, example 3 sketch here and I added an LED and I basically told it to set up the LED and then what we're doing down here in this function called show new data is that when data comes in, if, uh, if it's getting the, the phrase LED on, then it's going to turn the LED on. If it's getting the phrase LED off, it's going to turn the LED off. Now, what's different about this? A lot of the examples will have you do something like one, like you'll send a one or a two or something like that. And in fact, now that I think about it, I have another sketch up here where... If I were to grab this one, try that again. If I were to grab this one and I were to come here, you would see that like you're using um, ASCII. So in other words, if I send a one, it's gonna come through as a 49. And if I get a data of 49, then I'm gonna turn in this situation a relay on. Um, but instead we're gonna do something a little bit more advanced. So you'll notice that up here, I'm typing things and nothing's really happening. And what I think is really cool that these people did who made this example sketch is they created it with a start and an end character. So if I were to go, let's try this, if I were to go ABC and then do a less than symbol and then go DEF and then a greater than symbol, it's going to say received, that it received DEF. And the reason for it is because it starts looking at this symbol and stops looking at this symbol. And so anything between these symbols is what it's looking out for. And so I think that's really cool, especially when you have a lot of data flowing around. And so basically, if I were to come in here and type in LED on, nothing would happen. But if I were to do less than LED on greater than, then it's gonna say, hey, it's turning the LED on like the sketch told it to do. So now the question is, how do we turn this into a node red thing? So if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend it because we go through all the setup stuff of plugging in the Arduino and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to flip over to node red and we'll show you what we're talking about. So this is the previous sketch we did in node red. And basically I'm going to get rid of all this UI stuff that we had done in the last video. There's a snippet under the description of that other video so you can get it back. But the first thing we're going to do is we are going to drag this debug thing up here so we can see everything that's coming through the serial port. So right now we're getting the same Arduino is ready thing that we were seeing before. And now what we're going to do, so we're going to leave this up here and we're going to just, we're going to change this and we're going to say from Arduino Uno like this. And then we're going to deploy it. So now that's only going to give us the information that's coming from the Arduino Uno. And now what we're going to do is we are going to do the opposite one of these serials. And so we're going to come here and we're going to drag the serial that's going out. And we're going to do the same USB. And now we're going to say to Arduino Uno. So now if I were to come here and drag this over, I can use one of these. The first thing we'll just do is use one of these inject nodes. And they're kind of the simplest way to get an input. And so if I were to come in here and tell it that I want a string and that string, I want to be LED on. I think that's good. And then we'll just say LED on like that. Then we can copy this and paste it down here and do an LED off. And so basically right now we're going to see what happens if we send these to the Arduino. So now we have the Arduino is ready because we rebooted. Now we're going to come in here, LED on, and it's going to say this just in, LED on, and then turning LED on. And then if I were to come over here and say LED off, 
it's going to say this just in, LED off, and it's going to turn the LED off. Now, this should be obvious, but just for the heck of it, I'm going to uh, I'm going to inject just a random timestamp, which isn't going to have the right information in there. And basically, it's going to say the Arduino is ready because I redeployed, but nothing is going to happen when I do this. And then all of a sudden, I can turn the LED off or I can turn the LED on. So very, very cool. And then just to, just to kind of... Uh, just to kind of play around with that, if we were to come here to our, uh, let's see here. If we were to come here to this switch thing on the Node-RED dashboard, you'll see we're right here. I can come here and uh, basically on payload, so if it's true, let's see here. On payload, the on payload, not on payload, but uh, if it's on, we're going to say LED on. And if it's off, we're going to change this to string and we're going to say LED off. And then we're just going to say um, LED dashboard switch. And so we save this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag this in the same to Arduino Uno. So basically what this is going to do is going to make a dashboard icon that's just basically a switch. And it's going to send that payload of LED on or LED off. So when I deploy that, I can come here and hit UI. And the only thing I'm going to have here is that one switch. And I'll tell you what, let me uh, split screen this for you here. So if I were to split screen this and come back here to the debugging information, I'm going to snap that over here, and then I'm going to drag this one over here. Let's see, I might have to scroll. When I switch... You're going to see it turn the LED on, turn the LED off. And so very, very simple. And in fact, on the dashboard here, you get a little notification about whether that LED is on or off. And I'm looking across the room and the LED is definitely turning on and off. So very cool stuff. Very cool that from here you can do two-way communication from Node-RED to the Raspberry Pi. Sorry, from Node-RED to the Arduino. And then in the next video in this series, we're going to do a way more complicated version of this.